Kenya is importing more motorcycles than cars, doubling its fleet every seven to eight years. The average motorcycle is estimated to be 10 times more polluting per mile than a passenger car, light truck or SUV. The launch of 49 electric motorcycles made little noise but raised much interest in Nairobi's Karura Forest this week as the country started taking baby steps towards dealing with this vice. The number of newly registered motorcycles, commonly used as taxis and better known as Boda Boda, was in 2018 estimated at 1.5 million and will likely grow to over 5 million by 2030. The electric motorcycle pilot includes a host of local partners, ministries, national and sub-national authorities, and they will use bikes donated by Shenzhen Shenling Car Company. In Kisumu, we are already working with UNEP to switch to electric motorcycles. Our county city inspectors will use electric motorcycles. They will be our ambassadors in the historic campaign. We'll soon start assembling these motorcycles. I'm pleased to learn that the Kenya Power Company meter readers will also use these new types of two-wheelers reducing noise pollution in our city. Let today just be the beginning for the big campaign to fight air pollution. Hydrocarbons are dangerous to human health. Electric motorcycles not only mitigate against this health hazard, but also help reduce noise pollution that the rampant increase of petroleum-powered motorbikes currently causes. UNEP studies show that border border drivers can more than double their income if they make the switch. Electric motorcycles can also be built and assembled locally, hence creating green jobs. And because, because Kenya's electricity mix is 80% renewable, a new electric fleet will be powered by homegrown renewable energy. This is an enormous opportunity for Kenya. So how do we kick start the transition? The four pilot programs we are launching today are a crucial first step. These pilots will allow us to gather the vital information that will then inform the next phase of Kenya's electric transition, but also in our support of other countries outside Kenya. And the fact that UNEP is headquartered in this beautiful country, this is the small contribution that we can work with the government of Kenya to actually show and demonstrate Kenya's leadership in addressing pollution. A global leapfrog to electric vehicles already underway in countries like Norway and China is essential to curb carbon dioxide emissions. Transportation contributes approximately one quarter of all energy-related CO2 emissions and by 2050 it is likely to reach one third when the global number of passenger cars is projected to more than double. Sadly, this growth is expected mostly in low-income countries where there are rarely any vehicle emission standards. For the Capital Green Desk, I'm Wamboi Waweru.